Hi, my name is Robert Steltman. Today I'm going to show you a routine that will import your data from your HECRAS and generate a drawing in Civil 3D. We're going to start with our water surface extents. We're going to select our SDF file. Now, there are three profiles in this file, so we're going to just process the first one. And it also realizes that there's active water extents, and I'll show you later on, on how that gets affected. Now we're going to import our center line. Then we're going to import our ineffective areas and our velocities. And it will bring in the velocities for all three profiles. We're only going to bring in 2D sections at this time. And we're going to add object data, and it's actually going to label each cross section as we go along. And we can even bring in our boundaries. And it will bring in all three boundaries for this project. So I've turned some layers off, and what we see before us is three different points um, that were imported from uh, using the velocities. If we list them, it will put them on as a 3D point, and uh, it has an X, Y, and Z, and Z represents the velocity. So I'm going to use SSX to select all the points that are similar. And in our surfaces, we're going to add drawing objects, select points, and we're going to go P previous. And after creating that surface, we get a, um, we use the elevation banding style to show where the different uh, velocities are in our uh, drawing. Now I've turned off some of the layers, including the cross sections. The green lines here are ineffective as imported from the SDF file. The blue line, the magenta line, is our uh, water surface extents. And our active water extents is this blue line. And you can see how, by using the active water extents, you can get your true ineffective areas um, Using the map function edit object data, we can select one of the cross sections now, and it will also give us a section ID, the stream ID, the reach, the uh, station, and the length. And finally, when we imported our cross sections, we told it to give us a station label at each cross section, so those would be the red lines on the end. Just an example of how Stelton software can help you with your civil design. Give us a call.